Hello, welcome back to my channel Math and Spanish Magic Academy. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. And then drop a comment or message me anytime for anything you need. Okay, so let's start today. So today we're going to review the distributive property and simplifying expressions. Okay, so you may ask yourself, well, what is a distributive property? It's just a property where you're going to have some parentheses, okay? And that means that the two is going to multiply everything that is inside the parentheses. So in this case, you're going to multiply, the two multiplies the x, okay? So we're going to multiply that. Two times x is two x, okay? And the two also multiplies the seven, okay? So the two is going to multiply anything that is inside the parentheses. That's why it's called distributive property. Okay, and then 2 times 7 is 14, and then you simplify, okay? I cannot add these two terms, right, because they're not like terms. The 2x has a variable and the 14 is a constant, so I already simplified and you leave the answer the way it is, okay? Now we're going to review another example. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so the next example that we're going to review Okay, we're going to involve a negative sign, okay? So let's do this one, 5 times 2x minus 3 plus 1, okay? Let's add another term, okay? So this is distributive property, you have a parenthesis, okay? And in this case of 5 is going to multiply every term inside the parenthesis, so 5 times 2x is 5 times 2, 10, you add the variable, then 5 times negative 3. In this case, be careful with the signs, okay? It's positive 5 times negative 3. So positive times a negative is negative, so 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, and then 5 times the last term times 1 plus 5. You simplify, okay? So in this case, you don't have another term with a variable, but you do have two constants, right? So negative 15 plus 5, you have different signs, so you subtract and you leave the sign of the highest number. Okay, so you're going to have 10x, negative 15 plus 5 is negative 10. You subtract, 15 minus 5 is 10, and then you leave the sign of the highest number. Okay, and that's it. This will be your answer. You already simplify the expression. You cannot add these two terms because one has a variable and the other one is a constant. Okay, so we just finished the second example where it involves negative signs and it involves three terms. Okay, so now we're going to do another example. Let's solve this one, okay? So let's take a look at this other example where we have three Look what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to add a variable, okay? And the 3x is going to multiply everything that is inside of it. x plus 4 plus 2x. So look what's happening here, okay? We have distributive property, right? The 3x is going to multiply the first term inside the parentheses. So 3x times x. Whenever you multiply, this in this case the exponent of x is 1, right? You multiply, you add the exponent. So 1 plus 1 is x squared. So you're going to have 3x squared, and then 3x times 4, 4 times 3 is 12, and then you add the x. And then look at the 2x. The 2x is not inside the parentheses, so this is a separate term. So you just add plus 2x, that's it. Okay, the 3x is not going to multiply the 2x because the 2x is not inside the parentheses. And then you're just going to simplify. See, let's verify which are our, li our like terms. We don't have another x squared, so we just leave it as it is, 3x squared. Now, let's take a look if we have another term with the x raised to the first power. So I have here 
12x and I have a 2x. Okay, so those two are going to be added. 12 plus 2 is 14x. Okay, and that's it. Remember you're adding, so you leave the x as exponent 1. You don't do 14x squared. And I cannot simplify more. This is my answer. 3x squared plus 14x. Okay, and now we're going to do the last example where we're going to involve two distributed property terms. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, so we're going to have 2x, I'm going to add a variable, x minus 5 minus 3 x minus plus 1. Let's do a, a positive and a negative. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. The 2x is going to multiply the x. Remember everything that's in parentheses. So it's 2x times x is 2x squared. And then 2x times negative 5. Remember you have a negative times a positive is a negative. So it's negative 10x. Okay, and then look what I'm going to do next. I have here a negative 3 multiplies everything that is inside the parentheses. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Okay, and then negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Okay, and then I simplify. Okay, so let's simplify like terms. Do I have another x squared? No, so I'm just going to write it 2x squared. Let's verify we have an x term. We have negative 10x and negative 3x. Okay, so they have the same sign, so you add them 10 plus 3, 13, and you leave the sign that both of them have. So it's both are negative, so negative 13x. Okay, and I just have one constant, right? Which is a negative 3. I don't have another constant, and that's it. That's my answer. I cannot simplify more, right? Because I have an exponent 2, an exponent 1, and a constant. And that's my final answer. Okay, so uh, we're done with the explanation of these problems. If you guys need any help, make sure you write your comments down. If you want any help with math, Spanish, or English, you want for me to cover. And remember to subscribe, give like, and hit the notification bell. Thank you.